Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on my powder foundation routine. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before we get started, I wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you're new here, I am Bridget. And on this channel, I do skincare, makeup, sprinkled in with a little bit of lifestyle. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. Now, let's talk about my powder foundation routine. But before we get into it, I just need to say, I did not use any type of concealer for highlighting purposes. I did use a light powder and I decided to use a light powder during this video to demonstrate to you that you can get a highlighted look just using a powder. You do not need to use a concealer. So that's just to let you know why the highlight is so light. I did wanna demonstrate that. The look that I have on now is the look you're going to actually see me apply. But the reason that the highlight isn't as light is because I did go back in and tone it down a little bit with a darker powder. So let's go ahead and get started. I always talk about skincare, skincare, skincare before you start your look. So for my skincare, I just decided to use one particular product and that is the Skin Tint by Ilia. It has a 40 SPF as well as squalene. It has hyaluronic acid. It has lots of good ingredients in it. And just make sure that whatever skincare you use, guys, make sure that it has either a skin uh, a SPF attached or you use it separately. So because I am using powder, that's why I elected to use one product that has all of the ingredients. So now that I have that done, I do go in with a Real Technique sponge just to kind of go over it, just to absorb a little bit of that dewiness. All right, so after I have all of that applied, I do go in with a powder by Shantakai. This powder, as you can see, gives me a very strong highlight. This type of highlight would be good for evening purposes. Again, the reason that I wanted to use a lighter highlight is just to demonstrate that you can achieve that look without using a concealer. So I'm going in and I'm highlighting everything. Also you see where I'm bringing it up on my lid and the reason that I'm doing that is because that shade is going to be a part of my eyeshadow shade. I do not use any eyeshadow palettes in this particular look. After that, I do go in with my pressed powder by Fashion Fair. I talk about it all the time. I know you're sick of it, but the color is right for me and I just think it works really, really good. So as you can see, I'm applying this and I start applying it on my lower chin. I feel like that's the place that needs it the most. And then I just kind of move along the outer perimeter perimeter and just remember when you're applying your powders make sure to buff it in buff it in you just never can buff enough especially when you're using powder so now you can see i'm going in with a bronzer this is just a bronzer by morphe and i'm just going along the perimeter of my face uh, plus everywhere where i want bronzed and after that i do go back in with my powder and i just kind of go along the lines of where i just bronze just to kind of get a better blend and I do have a smaller brush uh, but this brush is more flexible so I'm going in with a eyeshadow brush just to kind of buff um, the lighter line out around my nose then after that I go back in with my morphe bronzer and i use that as a crease shade uh, because i said i don't during this look i'm not using a eyeshadow palette it's not needed so i'm just putting that in my crease and then after that i go back in with my chantecai powder and apply more of that lighter shade because i feel as though some of that was lost during the crease shade application so right here i'm going in with my smashbox trio a contour palette and I'm using the darker shade uh, because I'm contouring right here and anytime you want to contour you want a cool tone shade um, for bronzing uh, that can be a warmer shade and all I do is apply it right here because I'm trying to get that more chiseled look instead of the fluffy look that I have without uh, that contouring so I'm just applying that 
and then after that I go ahead and clean it up with the Chantecaille powder and I'm using the lighter powder of there's really no rhyme or reason. You can use your foundation shade uh, to cut it if you decide to, or you can use the lighter shade. So now I'm going in with my By Terry bronzer, and this is um, a bronzer and a highlight, uh, but the highlight that's attached to it uh, has a little bit of a muted, super muted rose color, but this one, um, it also has metallic in it as well. So to me, it gives you a less powdery application of uh, very soft looking with a little bit of a sheen. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but in person, it's beautiful. I love it. All right, so next I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder, and this is the highlighting powder. I'll put it down under the screen. I know I'm not saying the name correctly, but I'm just applying more of that on my cheeks, uh, hop onto my cheek and on my forehead and nose, uh, just because I like that look. And sometimes I use that powder all over, which is really pretty. And right here, I'm just going in, adding more of the pressed powder um, along my cheeks and the perimeter of my face. All right, so right here, I am spraying with my uh, Physician's Formula 24 Karat setting spray with collagen and I like this but I don't like the sprayer because you know it kind of leaves a lot of clunks on it so I could definitely do without that. So right here I'm pretty much finished with the powder foundation look. I am going to go in and add lashes, eyeliner, and lipstick. I did initially have a dark dark lipstick but you know me I had to take it off and voila I have a new color on now. Now I did go in and darken up the highlight as you can see because this is the same look um, as uh, what I'm actually filming and showing you and all I did was go into my fashion fair powder and I took my sponge okay I took a dry sponge and then dipped it in and then just pressed it in and that deepened up the highlight as you can see it's still there but it's just not as apparent so this is my powder foundation routine let me know what your powder foundation routine looks like do you even like to use powders or do you just stick with the liquids let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches